Hi guys! Welcome sa Angry Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay i-discuss ko ang part 2 sa topic ng addition of fractions. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So meron na akong naunang video about addition of fractions. So kung hindi niyo pa ito napapanood, ay maaari niyo muna itong panoorin upang mas makasabay kayo sa pagsasolve natin ng more examples sa pag-aad ng fractions. So basically, sa video na to ay magsasolve tayo ng addition of fractions that involves whole number and mixed fractions. So for the first example, we have... So, we have 2 plus 1 half. So, itong example na to ay isa sa mga pinakamadaling example na may encounter natin sa pag-add ng fractions. So, basically, when we are adding a whole number and a fraction, we will have a mixed number as the answer. So, therefore, we will just make it 2 and 1 half, which is a mixed number. Kasi ang mixed number ay pwede natin i-represent as adding the whole number to the fraction. For example, 1 and 1 fourth is the same as adding the whole number 1 to the fraction 1 fourth. So that's why in our example, when we add 2 plus 1 half, we will just transform it into a mixed number which is 2 and 1 half. For the second example, we have 5 plus 1 and 5 over 8. So basically, to solve this problem, every time we encounter a mixed number, when we are adding fractions, the first thing to do is to transform that mixed number into a sum of the whole number and the fraction. So, therefore, 5 plus 1 and 5, 8 is also the same as 5 plus 1 plus 5, 8. Just like what I said sa example 1. And therefore, we can now just add the whole number 5 plus 1, which is 6, and add it to the fraction 5, 8. So therefore, we have 6 plus 5 over 8. And like on the example number 1, in adding a whole number to a fraction, we just make it a mixed number. So 6 plus 5, 8 is just equal to 6 and 5 over 8. For number 3, we have... 1 and 5 ninths plus 2 ninths. In this case, we now have a mixed number and a fraction. So likewise, we will also transform the mixed number 1 and 5 ninths into the sum of the whole number and the fraction. So we have 1 plus 5 ninths plus 2 ninths. Since wala naman na tayong whole number na i-add pa sa 1, ang next step na natin ay ipag-combine naman natin yung dalawang fractions na 5 ninths at 2 ninths. And since similar sila, madali natin silang ma-add by simply adding their numerators over the same denominator nila na 9. So we have 1 plus 5 plus 2 over 9 which is equal to 1 plus 7 over 9 will just be a mixed number which is 1 and 7 over 9. For example number 4, we have 1 and 2 over 11 plus 2 and 4 over 11. So again, we transformed all the mixed fractions or mixed number as the sum of the whole number and the fractions. So we have 1 plus 2 over 11 plus 2 plus 4 over 11. 
And then, i-add natin yung mga whole numbers na 1 tsaka 2. So, we have 3 plus 2 over 11 plus 4 over 11. And then, ang a-add naman natin ay yung given fractions na 2 over 11 at 4 over 11. So, we have 3 plus, since similar fractions uli sila, i-add lang natin yung numerators na 2 at 4. So, we have 2 plus 4, and then over the same denominator na 11. So, therefore, we have 3 plus 6 over 11, or 3 and 6 over 11. For example, number 5, we have 5 and 1 over 10, plus 1 and 3 over 10, plus 3 and 5 over 10. So, in this example, meron tayong tatlong fractions to be added, which are all mixed fractions. So, gaya ng mga naunang example, i-transform uli natin yung mga mixed fractions na to as the sum of the whole number and fractions. So, we have 5 plus 1 over 10, plus 1 plus 3 over 10, plus 3 plus 5 over 10. And then, i-combine natin yung mga whole numbers. So, it will become 5 plus 1 plus 3 is 9. Plus, all the remaining fractions. And then, combine na natin ngayon yung mga given fractions, which are all similar. So, to combine them, we will just add their numerator. So, we have 9 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 over 10. So, we have 9 plus 9 over 10 or 9 and 9 over 10. For the sixth example, we have 3 and 5 over 6 plus 2 and 3 over 4. So again, represent muna natin itong two mixed fractions as the sum of a whole number and the fraction. We have 3 plus 5 over 6 plus 2 plus 3 over 4. And then, i-add natin yung whole numbers na 3 tsaka 2. So, we have 5 plus 5 over 6 plus 3 over 4. Then, pwede na natin i-add yung 5, 6 tsaka 3 fourths. Since dissimilar yung dalawang fractions natin this time, kailangan muna natin silang i-transform into similar fractions by first finding their LCD. So, using listing method, we will find the LCM of 6 and 4. So, the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, etc. Sa 4 naman, ang multiples nito ay 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. And since ang unang number na naging common multiple nila ay 12, therefore, the LCD of 5, 6, and 3 fourths is 12. So we have 5 plus the new denominator will be their LCD of 12. For 5, 6, we have 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 5 is 10. For 3 fourths, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9. And therefore, since similar na yung fractions natin, ay pwede na natin i-add using the rules of adding similar fractions. 
So, add na lang natin yung mga numerators over the same denominator nila. So, we have 5 plus 10 plus 9 over 12. We have 5 plus 19 over 12. So, notice that this time, the fraction is an improper fraction since mas mataas yung numerator sa denominator. And if that is the case, kailangan nating i-convert itong improper fraction sa mixed number. So, we have 19 divided by 12 is 1 remainder 7. So, therefore, 19 over 12 is equal to 1 and 7 over 11. So, we have 5 plus 1 and 7 over 12. So again, we'll make the mixed number now as a sum of a whole number and a fraction. We have 5 plus 1 plus 7 over 12. Adding the whole numbers, we have 6 plus 7 over 12. And then, 6 plus 7 over 12 is just a mixed number, which is 6 and 7 over 12. Okay? So, let's have the last example. 5 plus 7 over 8 plus 1 and 5 over 6 plus 8 and 3 over 4. So, this time, meron tayong whole number, fraction, at dalawang mixed number. So, gaya nung mga nauna nating example, convert muna natin yung lahat ng mixed number into a sum of the whole number and the fraction. So, we have 5 plus 7 over plus 1 plus 5 over 6 plus 8 plus 3 over 4. And then adding all the whole numbers, we have 5 plus 1 plus 8 is equal to 14. Plus the remaining fractions of 7, 8 plus 5, 6 plus 3 over 4. And now, we just need to add the 3 remaining fractions which are all dissimilar. So therefore, we will find the LCD of these three fractions. So we are to find the LCM of 4, 6, and 8. So the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, etc. For 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, etc. For 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, etc. And since ang unang naging common multiples ng tatlong number ay 24, therefore, our LCM is 24. And the LCD of the three fractions is 24. So therefore, we can rewrite now the three fractions to their equivalent fractions having 24 as a denominator as 14 plus 8. So for 7 over 8, we have 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 7 is 21. So for 5, 6, we have 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 5 is 20. For 3 fourths, we have 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 3 is 18. 
So since na-transform na natin yung lahat ng fractions sa similar fractions, we can just add their numerators over the same denominator. So we have 14 plus 21 plus 20 plus 18 over 24. We have 14 plus 59 over 24. Or when we transform the improper fraction of 59 over 24 into mixed number, we have 59 divided by 24 is 2 remainder 11. Therefore, 59 over 24 is equal to 2 and 11 over 24. Transforming this 2 and 11 over 24 as the sum of the whole number and the fraction, we have 14 plus 2 plus 11 over 24. 14 plus 2 is 16 plus 11 over 24. Therefore, the final answer is 16 and 11 over 24. So that is how we add fractions that include a whole number or mixed fractions. You just simply transformed the mixed fraction into sum of the whole number and the fraction. And then proceed by adding the whole number first and then also adding all the fraction. Apply also the rules of adding similar and dissimilar fractions. So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.